He's making fun of me right now. <laughs> I have to check myself in the I camera. Check yourself. If you have not subscribed, please do. Welcome back, you guys. I am Dana, and this is Jason. And I rarely do like an introduction and like, this is Dana Creates, because I like to make it feel more natural when we're going through our day. We're a vlogging family. If you haven't been to our channel before, welcome. If you are one of our regulars, we're just gonna do an update video, and we're gonna run through all things within our family. We're gonna go through our, just our normal family, the kids doing school, business life for our business. We own our own business in case you are new and travel plans and what we might or might not be doing or kind of the struggles that we're having with that. So we're gonna go in that order. shout out to all the people who've been asking how we're doing all the comments yeah. subscribers we appreciate it hope you're all doing well too sometimes when I want to give more updates during like daily videos I feel like it's too wordy and so I want to just kind of like condense it into this video let's dive right in to family life all right so we're gonna hurry and do this because our kids are gonna come back from recess any minute now but our family is doing pretty well we're kind of surviving we're doing as good as, I mean, there's a lot of people in worse situations. Yeah. We're settling into the kid's schedule. Yeah, we're schedule. getting more freedom together on his days off to be able to I leave the house. I did a hike this morning, which maybe I could, I, yeah, we can totally show you. snowy, so I can show you the panorama there. But I enjoy the hikes getting out, trying to keep myself sane. Yeah. But otherwise the family's doing pretty good. We're, yeah, we're, we're kind of settled into daily life with everyone at home. And he's at work four days a week. We're kind of settled into that, which kind of segues into school life because that kind of dominates our home life right now, unfortunately. Yeah. We've been staying healthy and everything. Yeah, yes. like the kids being home from school has been beneficial for a lot of reasons. The safety reason obviously is the number one. Um, they're not going to get sick going to school. And I can give an update on school plans for the future in just a second. It is going well with remote learning. Kids are doing good. They're, Kids adapt really well. They they mm -hmm. learn. I mean they're being responsible with it. They yeah, like you'll see they'll come home. What time is it? They will literally be here in seven minutes. I can guarantee you in seven job. minutes they'll be here because they're they're on time. They're on schedule. And they're getting their homework done. Actually I kinda have to handhold with her homework, but she's seven. So like That's even funny. if we were getting homework home during the school year and they were at school I would still have to handhold. So they're doing we're, well with it. We're, there's the usual tech issues that every yes. everyone working from home, Zoom in and all that stuff yeah. is having. Sometimes it's on our end, sometimes it's on the school end, but as a whole, I think the school's done a great job. Excellent setting, job. Excellent job setting everything up, making it as easy as can Possible. be. Possible. Ashley just got her teacher back. Her teacher had to go out on medical leave for a couple weeks and had her teacher aide from last year fill in for her as her substitute. And so Ashley just got her teacher back yesterday. Maybe I'll show a couple of her avatar classroom pictures because they're obviously like not the real photos of her classroom. Um, but that was her one of her assignments yesterday was to create her school avatar picture of herself. She is really enjoying having her teacher back and part of our decision to um, put our kids back in school once our kid school does go back to school even on a what do they call it a hybrid model was that Ashley's teacher was not going to go back to the school physically. She was going to stay in a remote setting as a teacher. And so part of our decision was like, Ashley really needs this teacher. Like she's really connected with this teacher. It means a lot when the younger grades, they connect with teachers. Yeah, but also oh, our school district had a plan and they were working towards a hybrid model. There were a lot of snafus with that plan. Part of it was that they didn't really have a plan. They hadn't really liked made sure that there was they enough had teachers. Teachers and stuff. Which and it's gotta be hard to figure it's out. It's really complex and it's complex for every school district around the world, I can imagine. But they had to hold off on all future plans for hybrid learning. Which was, I actually think is good because cases are starting to tick up. We're heading into the fall. Correct. No matter where you live in the world, it seems like everything's, everything's starting to tick up like they said it might. So they so may I'm end up. Not too worried about it. They may end up coming up with a plan, but part of the our reasoning was that we had to we had to lock in our opinion on whether we were going to send our kids back to school clear until March. Like we had to lock that in, commit to that date if we were going to send our kids back or keep them home. And I just did not feel comfortable 
comfortable with this winter, the rates going up and putting my kids back in school right now. Maybe in January I will feel comfortable with putting them back in school, but they wouldn't let us make that jump. We have decided as a family just to keep everyone home clear until March if, if need be because I can't, I can't have them in the school if the rates are going up and that's just my biggest factor and Ashley not having her teacher in the classroom. Yeah, it'd just be better with them home. And the hybrid model had pros and cons, had pros and cons to it. I'm not gonna worry about because I'm not gonna have them do that model. So I don't even need to like dive into what the pros and cons are for that. Sounds like the older kids are getting off, but oh um, yeah. So now we're into what, like business? Business, yeah, how is the business doing? So things have settled. We were able to get essential status, and so we were closed for six weeks. In case you're new, we own a shoe store. Yeah. An and actual so, physical location shoe and store. And we were able to get essential status because we help so many people with foot problems and they come from their doctors. And we were able to only be closed six weeks rather than like three months or something. Until now. That helped. And business is obviously slower. We're having trouble with distribution channels and every company's on half staff. So that's creating order delays and the usual stuff anybody's probably dealing with in any industry. But otherwise, the employees are, you know, they're great people. Really appreciate all their hard work. They are on reduced hours because the store's on reduced hours. So they're getting like partial unemployment and stuff like that. Which they're liking. That, which that helps me <laughs> because I don't have people like, hey, I need to make more money. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, I don't need you. <laughs> We're not that busy. But it thinks, every time I think they pick up, it then slows back down. So at this point, I'm just <laughs> trying to be neutral. Things, just watching, yeah. But the overall trend is a little bit like eh, eh, doing all right compared to a lot of other small businesses. It'll be rough because this is a good time of year for us normally, but then December is our lowest month of the yeah. year. Yeah, October, November, December tend to go a little less. We're opposite of the whole gift giving stuff. Yeah. Oh. Um, Normal people buy expensive yeah. shoes for themselves not to give to someone else. Yeah, so we generally slow down. They don't see their doctors. They're getting surgery. Yeah. They won't be recovered till the first part of the year. So it's far, okay. Been doing all right. We're surviving. Know? And yeah, we're hanging in there. We're doing good. You know, you know, prayers go out to all you other small business owners who... Yeah, let us know like, how you guys are surviving, yeah. whether you can go to work or you have to work from home or if... Or, you've had or, to like close the business if you had to close i mean just just know that we're comment. i mean like we're thinking of you no matter what the situation is i've been on some facebook forums for like shoe stores and i mean there's everything from oh things are great to i'm closing close i'm done i mean it's everything so let, let us know how you are wherever you're at whatever industry you're in whether you own a business or not kind of curious what people's real situations are out there mm -hmm. you know who's worried about getting permanently furloughed versus temporarily all that stuff just very curious and again i always appreciate it i always like commenting stuff so your thoughts and ideas and just your situations or <laughs> okay kids just got done with recess the other two came down for their lunch they're, they're about an hour off each other so we're back and the last thing we're going to talk about is travel plans and i we've been one little update to today for, for the update we've been we had scheduled what february we april were supposed to go to maui in april of this, this year. year and of course everything blew up right so we've been working with the guy trying to do all these different things we got credits for airlines we got all this stuff we're working on it. I am working on it. I was even, because now we have even more points and even more airline credits that we could use for a second trip. But it kind of blew up in my face this morning. I contacted the guy that we're renting a place in Maui we with. We have a credit with, with because we did, couldn't get a refund. So yeah. I'm trying to work with him to. So on. we're trying to work something out. We're trying to find a time frame. We might have to rent a second unit, which is fine. We'll just move and whatever. But Hawaii is open. As of yesterday, Hawaii is open and I have been watching it like a hawk because it's just, I wanna go so bad. I'm not gonna go into a ton of details for all the requirements that are in place as of right now because it's pretty in depth. You have to get COVID testing 70, 72 hours before the departure time of your last flight. Like it's complex, but some islands have different restrictions and second tests. Some other things to, yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna link two channels that I have been following. One of them is Eric West and he does Maui real estate, but he has also been really involved with getting people coming back to Maui and, and showing people the island and and all that kind of stuff. But then the Hawaii Travel Guide is a couple, they have a little boy, but that's what they do. The Hawaii Travel Guide is, they're showing everyone the ins and outs of traveling to Hawaii as a whole, not just Maui. They have done a really in-depth video on the restrictions and the testing and all this kind of stuff to actually get back to Maui and any island as of right now, as of October 15th. So I will link both of their channels down below and you guys can go and check out their videos because they're very informative and 
detailed and they put all the links to all the different things that you would need to know if you were gonna go and travel. I'm keeping an eye on it and, and trying to figure out where we could get tested depending on when we go. I'm hoping if we go, don't go until next April, we're in October right now, that maybe the testing will be off the table by then. Hopefully vaccines will be on the table by then. So we're just gonna have to kind of play it by ear and I wanna just stay informed of what we could possibly have to do in order to get into. Can you stop? Yeah. So in general, the restrictions in place right now, we could still go. We just don't have time with the kids being in school. We don't feel like it's fair and they've said that they don't wanna do school even remotely from Hawaii. We might do it for a day if like they can do it from the airport or coming home. I don't know, but like we've seen how intense it is here at home and they would have to get up at five and six o'clock in the morning in Hawaii. Hawaii time in order to do their remote learning. Yes, they would be done at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, but that's really no older way to like- Older kids still have homework. I mean, yeah. it diminishes Hawaii. So that's why we're struggling with our credit with the unit that we've already paid for is that he's like, well, you can do it any time if the kids are not going back to school. And it's like, we can't. So yeah, it tough. doesn't it doesn't work that easy. If it was just younger kids in elementary school, I would just say call it good for three days and they're taking some time off off of school. But it doesn't work the that way school, for the high school. Middle school is a little more important. And if you guys know of any tips, have anything, or maybe tell us about where you're trying to go to. Yeah. What's it like to get there? I mean, honestly, right. I don't think Americans are allowed to go anywhere yet. Like all the other countries. Well, we can't go to out. Europe. Yeah. Or Canada. You can go oh, to Mexico. I think everyone's keeping us out. <laughs> No, there are places. Someone just came back from, I was watching Eric West's YouTube channel and he was at the Maui airport interviewing people that were coming into the state and what their travel experience was because you have to get a COVID test in order to get in. And this one girl is a Maui resident and she was coming back from a trip and I can't remember where she was coming from. Like Not the States? No, she was um. had gone on a trip and because they were opened up now. And so she was coming back, but still had to get tested. All right, I understood most places are Maybe like Mexico. So. Anyway, leave your comments below where you want to go. Where I want to go somewhere so or if bad. You have tips or ideas, let us know. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, but we are trying. I don't know, maybe we got to bump it out and just go sometime in the summer. I don't know. I don't know either. We'll figure it out. I mean, I just, we have first world problems, right? I mean, basically, I we've spent the money. We can't get it back. So now we got to try to, like, that's our biggest thing. So we've already spent the money. We literally have three credits that we have to use and the airline credits we actually have to book yeah, by be April. Cool. So we have to at least know where we're going by April. And we that's- the fine print on that because they say something about ticketing and I'm not exactly sure what that means. You have to book your tickets by April. You don't have to travel by April, but you have to have them ticketed. So that's kind of our struggle at this point. Yes, I mean, I, if we could go somewhere tomorrow, we didn't have to worry about school and any of this kind of stuff, so I would probably- would Certain areas I'm totally comfortable going to because I feel like, especially with Hawaii, they have maintained this They've kept level it down, yeah. way better than any other state in the country. Yeah, I mean, it helps when you're an island. So, well, and they locked everyone out. <laughs> well, it helps when you're an island. Well, there's another state that locked everyone out too, and they're doing well too. We don't have any other like travel plans. Sometimes we go somewhere during winter break, but the house that we use now is being rented out. And so we're just trying to think of funny our things. Our friends are actually going somewhere. The ones we usually spend New Year's with are going somewhere. They're going to Texas. To visit some family and do some different things. So yeah. we're like, we're kind of having a socially Barren. isolated. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess that's what we're supposed to do. I don't know. I know. Like... So I'm trying to find other little, even you know, even if we plan Hawaii, I'm trying to find some other kind of staycation type staycation stuff. type thing to do. I like to have some movie nights with the girls and stuff. I'm I, so sick I of movie that. nights. I'm so Dude, sick I of love doing that with the girls. Yeah, but we've been doing it since February. I need to get out. And I need sunshine. Well, sunshine's over. I'm sorry to tell you. It just here. Happened. It's, it's over here. <laughs> I want to leave. I want to go somewhere. That's it. That's kind of our update. Just wanted to fill you guys in and you know, you guys are very supportive of us as a family and a couple and individually for me. We just wanted to update you. Everything is going well. We hope you're doing well. Yeah, and we do. Again, we love comments. I know it can be intimidating to comment, but everyone's been nice. 
we're definitely nice. I mean, I just like hearing what you're saying. If you're, you're not saying. nice, I'll um, let you know. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, yeah, no, it's uh, we like hearing how you're doing. We're just different people in different countries around the world. I it's fascinating to me. But it's really cool. I think part of the reason why I like watching YouTube is because I like to learn about other areas. Like I watch this guy, Eric West, ride his one wheel around the Maui airport. And I was just fascinated with like the airport and he drives around and shows real estate around the state. And I just think it's fascinating to to like learn and see and experience other well, I places. I enjoy reading the comments from our people who are in like England or yes. Canada or yeah. some other people are commenting. I don't exactly know where they're at, but I mean, there's other places. Yeah. I think it's really interesting to get Because some things are different there than it, they so. are here. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you guys. And if you have not subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button, click the bell, cause it'll tell you when I post, which is most likely every day, every weekday. It'll also just remind you to come and watch. Stick around, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. See, there's an alarm for the kids. I can turn that off real quick. It's just gonna keep buzzing. Or not. Is there a buzzer? Can you not hear that? Oh, I don't know, is that the phone? Is he getting old? <laughs> Shush. He literally can't. It's right there. It. How can you not hear that? Hear hurry, hurry, come back. What do I hit? That's like just a just bring it here in case it goes off again. Quick, come on. They're going to be home.